Hey guys, EBP Man here. Now in today's video, I'm gonna share with you something personal, and that's how I was able to lose 25 pounds in the last two months. Now, like many of you, the last year I've spent a lot of time at home and put on some weight. We're talking about over 20 pounds worth. Um, now, I have always been an active runner, uh, but long work hours, the gyms being closed, have really taken a toll. Also, um, I suffered or have a knee injury. So I have my kneecap is shifting and that's limiting how long and how far I can run. So this year I actually turned to bike workouts. Now, let me give you my background. I work out every day. We're talking about anywhere from 20 to 30 minute rides or more. And I watch what I eat and the pounds are coming off. We're talking about over 25 pounds. So today we're gonna to be reviewing the Yeasel spinning bike. Now, this is one of the key tools in my weight loss journey. Let's go to check it out. Now, I used to attend spinning classes for years, but really never had a bike at home. But I also didn't want to spend the crazy amount of money that you have to in order to get a bike. So there's four basic things, four key things that I'm looking for when purchasing a bike or something that would meet my needs. First of all, I'm looking for a bike that's going to be ultra quiet. I need an ultra quiet bike because I work out when everyone else is still asleep. I also need a stable ride. I mentioned I'm a power rider. I really like pushing myself and I needed something that was gonna be able to support my weight and it was also gonna be able to support how I work out. Also, it's important to me to have a bike that is comfortable during workouts. You know, let's face it, riding a, uh, a stationary bike can hurt your butt. <laughs> so, wanted to make sure I had something that was gonna be uh, comfortable. And the other thing is I wanted a, a bike that had a good app system, that the app was easy to use. It was, uh, the interface was highly uh, legible, especially when you're working out and sweat is just coming all over you. And something that uh, would support at least my lifestyle. Now this exercise bike that we're reviewing is a Smart Connect exercise bike. It has Bluetooth support, which is gonna allow you to connect to a variety of devices in your home. It also comes with a heart rate monitor, which is also really important to me. Um, it has magnetic resistance, and it also has a belt drive system. It's a commercial grade type belt drive system that's gonna give you a really, really quiet experience. It also then has a tablet and a phone holder, which is important also so that you can see what your progress is and how you're working out. Now this bike is really well spec. You're talking about 79 pounds and that's important, especially uh, if you don't have a dedicated space and you wanna move the bike around. So you want something that's not really heavy. It's also suitable for anyone just shy of five, uh, five foot tall, all the way up to six two. So you can adjust the bike to suit your, your leg length and then also um, your arm length as well, which is really important. Uh, it can support up to 265 pounds, which is also really important. It has a belt driven system, right? And it has a hundred levels of magnetic control resistance. Now, those two things are gonna contribute to an ultra quiet ride. Now, it also supports three uh, of the riding positions. So as you're spinning, you basically have your positions or your hands in three specific positions, right? Depending on if you're in the saddle, out of the saddle, or you know what you're doing in the bike. And then it also has a bottle holder as well as a tablet holder, right? So that you can always stay refreshed and you can see what's going on. Now the app itself has a lot of information. It's gonna allow you to monitor your workout. It will monitor your heart rate if you're wearing the band. It will also mo monitor your calories, your riding distance, the resistance, your cadence, all those things that are gonna be important. Now, one of the things that I found about this app is that it's one of the easiest fitness displays that I've seen to date, but it still has some limitations. The app is being improved and it lacks some features that you may have in mature apps like mile versus kilometer settings. But the app has a lot of potentials and not only this, but it also has a coaching system. So you can actually ride with someone or you could do um, these scenic rides where you're riding in different places in the world. Now, the very first thing that we're going to take a look at is the actual tablet stand. Now, this is a tablet stand, and this also could be used for a phone stand. So I actually put my phone here. If you have a tablet, you could put it here. I really like the fact that it is adjustable, so you can notice it can pivot, so you can get the right view that you need. Uh, there's also a barcode here, and this is just going to allow you when it comes to pairing and Bluetooth. Now, uh, the handles themselves are pretty, uh, are pretty sturdy and it has a rubberized material here that's gonna make it really easy to hold on to, not, not that you're gripping really hard, but it's also going to wipe off really easily because this is gonna be one of the areas that you get a lot of sweat. And for that matter, when you look at the overall construction, while it does have a, a I would say a glossy, semi-glossy feel, right? So it's not really, really high gloss. One of the things that I also noticed is that it does not uh, retain fingerprint. So it's not a fingerprint magnet, and it's also not a sweat magnet, which is really good because you know I sweat a lot on this bike. <laughs> wipe it down and you don't see the sweat marks and you don't see the fingerprint marks. 
Now, as we take a look at this area here, this knob is going to allow you to increase your tension as you're pedaling. You do have an adjustment knob here so that you could uh, raise or lower this, um, the actual steering column here. And then now uh, you do have the Bluetooth signal that is, uh, or the battery, this is where the Bluetooth comes through that is here, which makes it this really convenient because you don't have to have it plugged in anywhere. Now, this is super silent, right? So this uses the magnets here, and, and this is what's going to give you kind of that, um, that very quiet experience that I really love about this. I work uh, out before anyone else is up in the house. Water holder, um, bottle holder. I don't really I drink a lot of water when I'm working out, but if you uh, want something, that's definitely here. You have over here a couple other adjustments, so you can adjust your seat. And one of the things I'll highlight about the seat is that the seat is soft it's kind of like a soft material but it's also very rubberized so you notice as i push down um, i actually prefer very hard seats when i am cycling so uh, this i would say probably hurts my butt more than the hard one does uh, but that's going to be your personal decision what you like and what you don't uh, you'll notice over here the actual adjustment so you can move the saddle front or back and then also you can actually adjust the height as well this is set to my height and again, it, it, it doesn't move. Overall, one other thing I wanted to mention about this bike, and this is super important for me, it's not just that the operation is quiet as you're pedaling, but it's also that it doesn't squeak. It drives me crazy when bikes squeak. So when you're pedaling, no squeaking. When you're standing out of the saddle and pedaling, no squeaking. Ultra, ultra, ultra quiet. Now, the pedals that you see here, and let me go down to this level, I did have to change these out because uh, the pedals that this bike came with, uh, first of all, uh, they didn't have the metal traction here, which I really like, and uh, they were actually giving me um, some noise. There was like clicking sound and some thumping at times. So uh, what I did is I switched these out to some more heavy duty ones that I had um, from a different bike that I have. Uh, so that worked out really well. Uh, and then from a, uh, I would say from the other area that I would say is a focus uh, for me, are the wheels. So as we take a look at these wheels, um, the one thing I wish that these wheels were is that they had some type of, a, um, I would say, almost like cushion, because uh, they're very solid wheels. And what happens is when you're on a hardwood floor like I am, they rumble, right? So having some more suspension on the wheels, especially since I moved these out, you can see I'm in my living room and this is where I work out. I just put a pad down and then I have the bike here. Once I'm done, I move the bike out of the way. So this is something that I do every single day. And so all I hear is like a, a train going through my living room because of how much vibration I get out of these. So I wish the company did something about that. And by the way, I did give them the feedback. So now let's shift into my key four points, those areas of focus for me. First of all, this bike is ultra quiet. I am up at 6 a.m., sometimes at 5 a.m. before anyone in my house is. And I have to work out in my living room. I don't have a dedicated space for working out. So uh, I need something that is quiet and won't wake everyone up. So this is really important to me. And this bike, even when I'm out of the saddle and I'm power riding, is ultra quiet. You cannot hear anything at all. Now, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is stability. Now, this bike is stable, but at times, you know, one of the things that I feel because I'm, you know, I'm a power rider is that uh, the bike lacks some stability. I weigh 185 pounds and am running the bike at 60 resistance with a cadence of around 80 or more. And I felt that at times that as I was powering through, if I was going, let's say like doing a power workout, going up a mountain, uh, simulating that, that at times I could sometimes lift the bike. But again, that may be due to my power workout. And now from a comfort perspective, um, it's definitely there. You have a lot of adjustments that are gonna give you the line type of experience that you want. Now the bike is adjustable, as I said. But one of the things I have mixed feelings about, because I'm used to riding bikes that have firm seats, is the, the soft seat. If you like soft seats um, and you know, your butt hurts kind of thing, when you're, wearing, or when you're uh, on a hard seat, then this is gonna be good for you. But I'm kind of used to a hard seated solution. So I have mixed feelings about that, uh, but that's not a big, it's not like a deal breaker for me. Um, it's something that you can get used to, but I prefer the firmer seats. Now, from an app perspective, uh, the app is still being updated, and I've been giving the company some feedback. It's easy to read in phone or tablet mode. It's incredibly simple. Uh, I mean, it has a lot of features, but there's some things that I'd like to see, like I mentioned, the, the ability to see kilometers or miles. So um, overall, fantastic experience with this bike. At least it checks off all my boxes, but there are some areas of improvement. 
Now the very first area, and some of these things are pretty common across the entire bike ecosystem. Uh, the first thing I would really love is if this bike supported my Samsung and Apple Watch, right? I don't really like having to wear a, another you know, device to be able to track my heart rate. So I'd love to be able to use my Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 or you know, the 4 that's coming out or my Apple Watch to monitor my heart rate. Now, the other thing, as I mentioned, is that the app has some maturing. This is a relatively new app, and I would like to see more settings, really more abilities to customize how I want to monitor things. And then I also see that um, the, the actual interface itself is not always using the language that experienced uh, spinners actually use. So, for example, uh, Cadence, right? They have RPM. So I'd really like to see the language updated to suit more of the experienced riders. Now, again, these aren't deal breakers in any way, but it's just the language thing that sometimes bugs me as I'm looking at it and see RPMs and I don't see cadence. Now, one thing also that I just wanted to highlight, just to make sure that you guys are aware, is that if you do have a preference to use a, another program, another workout program, like for example, Peloton, uh, which is something that I also use uh, quite often. It's, it's actually one of my daily apps uh, that I use for workout. You can use it as well. So that's not going to limit you in any way. Now, one other item that could be improved, and if you're like me, you don't have a dedicated space to work out. So my routine is every night before I go to bed, I move the bike into a position uh, where there's a mat in our living room, and I put the bike right there. Now, the cool thing about this bike is that it doesn't require any electrical connections. So it's Bluetooth, but it has a battery that basically powers the bike. So you don't have any wires that you have to worry about. Uh, so I move the bike every, every night so that I'm ready for the morning. Now, one of the things that could be improved is that the wheels feel real cheap. Uh, they basically make too much noise. Even though they are rubberized and they're not going to mark your floor, and you guys know I have a hardwood floor, um, it still is like moving a wheelbarrow. It's like it makes that much noise. Uh, so I wish that the company changed the wheels so that they can be smoother when they're moving around. Now the bike can move easily, it just makes a lot of noise. Now the other area of improvement are the pedals. And again, I'm speaking from someone who's an experienced uh, you know, rider, who's someone who has frequent a lot of classes. And I do like the, the actual pedals that have the actual metal support. So when I slip my feet in there, I know that I can tighten them down well and then I have that metal grip. Uh, these don't. These are plastic pedals and in my opinion they're a little on the cheap side. And what I notice is that the actual pedals were making a noise. And remember, I want something ultra quiet. When everyone's asleep um, and I'm wearing headphones and watching something that I'm working out to, I don't want any noise. And I could hear this click or this thump going on. So I contacted the company and I mentioned to them about this. Uh, and maybe mine is a defect, but what I ended up doing is switching the pedals. I switched the pedals for some other pedals that I had, and now this thing is ultra quiet. Now, one other thing that I would highlight is the actual resistance. So as you're working out, and in every class they'll tell you up at one, up at two, up at five or more, you wanna be able to have something that is going to be accurate. So when you turn the dial, either a full dial or half a dial, whatever it is, you wanna be able to see that number change. Um, at times, I don't know if it was super accurate. Uh, so I noticed that there were some, as I was turning that dial, that I wouldn't always see it go from one to two. Sometimes it would go from you know, one to three. It would jump too high. Increasing or decreasing was something that I noticed. But again, this isn't a showstopper in any way. So now, what's my opinion of this bike? Would I recommend it? I absolutely would. I think it has great value. And despite some of the shortcomings that I just highlighted, they're very minor because again, it ticks my four boxes. It's uh, super easy to use. It is super quiet. It is something that will support, uh, again, my lifestyle, and I'm sure it would yours as well. Uh, and I, by the way, I did give the company feedback of everything that I found, and they were also very receptive. So again, that quietness, the, the actual support of the platform for my lifestyle, it's definitely something that I would recommend. So guys, make sure you pick up one today. Thanks for watching. Stay fit, eat healthy, and remain active. See you in the next one.